Hello my friends, I'm Marilis here to play more Rakuen. I do believe we have all the materials needed to build the um, the model plane, airplane. Um, I don't know if I need to like purposefully... Okay, I'm looking at the schematic. Glue. Six feathers, eight sticks. Do I have six feathers, eight sticks? Uh, eight sticks, six feathers. I do have glue. Um, I don't know how to craft it though. I assumed it would just like do it for me when I had all the materials, but maybe not. Okay, I looked up what to do because I really needed help, and apparently you have to turn on all the switches, and well, I guess that doesn't really change the, the number of lights. Um, but turn on all the switches and go to the fifth room. One, two, three, four, five. Have I always been able to get in this room? Christina's parents. Rita, yes. I'm growing increasingly concerned. Wait. I can't tell if I've already read this or if it's just like exactly the same as all the other letters I've read. Oh, I must have read this a long time ago, this note on this panel, and totally forgotten. So I guess I I might have read this letter before, I have not been up here. <sighs> I can't believe I forgot which rooms I've gone into. Actually, I can totally, totally understand why I would forget that. I can't wait to eat. Nothing works with an appetite like hiking all afternoon. Okay, kids, dig it. I'm not hungry. How is this possible? <laughs> I had a big breakfast. He was snacking. Christy! Sorry, I mean, we were both kind of snacking. <laughs> it's okay, we're on vacation. You two can go play. Yay! If you're lucky, your mother and I will save you some food. <laughs> Benny, wait! Are they going to their, their secret area? Christy? Yes, Dad? Be a good girl and watch over your brother, okay? I will. That's my girl. Oh, I'm Christy. Hello. Is he going to, like, try and fly and then something bad is going to happen to him? Benny! Big waterfall. What are you doing? Come back over here before you get hurt. It's okay, Christy. See, look. It's really strong. Come on, Benny. Stop joking around. I'm supposed to be watching over you, and... And I just don't want you to get hurt. It's fine, Christy. You worry too much. Benny, please. Okay, okay. Sorry. I'll get off now. Thank you. Uh oh. Christy, help! <gasps> the bridge broke. Benny! I'm sorry, Dad. <gasps> he passed away from that? Oh my gosh. I felt like it was building up to so much, I had no idea that that would be how it happened. There were so many other ways it could have gone wrong. You know? Dad! Dad, it's time for dinner. Dad? It's okay, Christy. Your father's just very tired today from work. Why don't you come in back and finish your dinner? Okay, Mom. There you are, Dad. I've been looking all over for you. Dad? I think you should go home, Christina. But... I came to help you catch fish for dinner. Like we always used to. 
It's just... You always said... Okay. I'll go home. It wasn't her fault, Tony. Mom. Yes, dear? Does Dad hate me? Oh, sweetheart. No, of course not. Your father just doesn't show a lot of emotion. There's a lot going on underneath. Lots of complex feelings and thoughts. But there's also a lot of love for you. It doesn't feel like it. He used to be different. I know, dear. But you must believe me when I say that he loves you very much. I'll try. Good night, Christy. Good night, Mom. Looks like we have everything we need to make these wings. Let's get to work. Hun, can you hold this feather in place while I glue it down? Like this? Yes, that's perfect. We're almost done. I can't wait to fly. Wow, these are great. Um, do you think they'll work? Well, they look pretty strong to me. I think you'll be fine. Well then... Are you all ready to go? Sure. We had enough material for both of us to have wings. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's Tony. Tony? Hey, kid. How'd you find me? Tony, are you okay? No. Nothing is right. Hmm. Go ahead, dear. Give him the letter. Don't be afraid. Tony, we found this letter. It's for you. It's from Christy. Dear Dad, it's been so long since you last spoke with me. I miss when you used to take me up in your airplane. I miss how you would reach, teach me stuff. Most of all, I just miss you. I know you go on more business trips to get away from me. I know you hate me because I couldn't protect Benny. But I will always love you. I'm sorry that I couldn't be the daughter you wanted. Love, Christy. Oh, Christy, no. No, I don't hate you. I love you so much with all of my heart. You don't understand. What happened to Benny was my fault, not yours. I live each day of my life with so much guilt. Looking at you, you look so much like him. I didn't leave because I wanted to get away from you. I left because I didn't know how to deal with what had happened. I know that's selfish and I'm sorry. But knowing you feel this way, I can't bear it, Christy. I love you so much, and I've only ever wanted the best for you. You'll always be my little girl. Tony, it's been so many decades, and now you're saying this? Christy's journal key. imagine though what a regretful life there is a folded note inside labeled to Christy from dad I'm sorry that I have to leave again Christy but to help you understand just how much I love you I want you to have this 
When your mother tucks you in tonight, promise me that you'll listen to this and that you'll think of the song I always sing to you at bedtime. Even though I go far away for work, you should always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little girl. Love, Dad. So who broke the music box? Was it Christy? And why does Tony have it now? Daddy, I can't sleep. It's already an hour past your bedtime, Christy. How can you not be sleepy? Did your mother let you have extra honey again? He. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just gonna have to sing you a song. Your songs are the silliest. La 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 la. Me 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 me. So 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 so. What are you doing? Warming up my voice, of course. And no warm up could be complete without a. <laughs> Daddy, you are the funniest. Hello? If you brush your teeth and you get good grades, I will be so proud. Maybe I'll even shout out loud or do a funny dance. Ha ha ha! Even though I go far away for work, you should always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little girl. Good night, Christy. Morning, no Kokoro Part Two. Runestone family achievement. Huh? Where'd all the bears go? Hmm, I'm not sure. But now that we know Tony's song, we can finally have Blacksmith Jackie fix that music box. <laughs> We'd better run there. Why is that? So that we don't accidentally forget the song before we get there. <laughs> You're right. Let's go. Oh, I'm brought all the way over. Thank you. Hello, Jackie. Welcome back, guys. What can I do for you? We know the song. Jackie, we know the music box is sung now. Oh, you do? Well, that's fantastic news. I'll get right to work. We'll have this bad boy up and running in no time. <laughs> My music box. Tony bear in my hut. Don't worry, he won't hurt you. Little Theepo, did you fix my music box? This music box belongs to Tony? Yes, I'm sorry we didn't tell you. It's just, he really looked like he needed help, but he didn't know how to ask. So the little Theepo did fix it. Um, if I say yes, will you not eat me? I can't believe this. You don't even know what this means to me. I can't thank you enough. I'm so sorry for destroying your gardens. You are much nicer creatures than I give you credit for. I guess I'll have just been a big jerk. Well, from here on out, not only do I promise not to harm your village, I also promise to protect it. I owe you so much. The least I could do is show you my gratitude. I... well... Uh... Thank you, Tony Bear. And thank you, all my new little friends. <laughs> he like barely fits through the, the archway. Mom, look! It's another door. Should we see where it leads? Yeah! <laughs> Who's there? 
thought I told you stupid nurses to leave me alone. Is Christina visiting? Christy? Hi, Dad. I'm glad you're here. Me too, Dad. I'm back in my hospital bed. Is Yami gonna visit? Every time I'm scared by that noise. Mom? There he is. Still sleeping. Yami, it's you. You should really be used to this by now. So I hear you're becoming a regular hero around here, eh? Helping out your neighbors, saving little pink cat creatures from angry bears. Wait, you know about the Liebels? Of course I do. You think you're so special, the only kid who's been to the forest? Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that at all. I just... Before, when you didn't understand why the book was important to me, I thought... I thought that meant you hadn't read the story before. I'm sorry, Yami, I just... Hey, I was just kidding. It's all good. You don't have to explain. <laughs> Wait. So that means... You know about Morizora? Of course I do. <laughs> That's great, Yami. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I couldn't even believe it the first time I saw it. Everything is so wonderful there. The creatures are real, and they want to talk to me and help me, and I want to help them, too. <laughs> yeah, everyone loves you when they learn something from you. Wait, what? I'm just saying. It's human nature, you know? Shouldn't feel bad about it. It's just the way it is. Hmm. Are you going to wish for anything? From Morizora? Yeah. I don't know. Last I saw, he was sleeping. And even if he did wake up, I doubt he'd grant me a wish. Why do you think that? Wishes are for good kids. Kids that help people. Kids that are strong. I'm too weak and too sick. How could I ever help anyone with anything? Oh, yummy. Oh, man, I'm gonna get busted if the nurse catches me again. I better go. Yami? What? You've helped me. Huh? Why? Because I break into your room every night and you mistake me for your mom? <laughs> no! Well, maybe. What are you on about? You keep me company. And you understand. Nights are the loneliest, you know? But when you're here, it's not so bad. Well, thanks for saying that. I mean it. Mm. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? I did. I feel refreshed. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> so, looks like we're all set. I'll get these tests over to the lab and... Oh. oh, her name is Shanti? I'm terribly sorry to interrupt, but we're having a bit of a problem. No worries, Kenji. What do you need? Well, I hate to tell you this, but... uh. Isaburu got out again. What? He broke the new boards we put up and got into the space behind his room. Uh, more like we broke the boards and he didn't contribute to that. And I'm pretty sure he got outside too because there's more boxes and more mud. Ugh, why? I just don't have time for this now. I'm thinking we might have to reevaluate Isaburu's education. Unfortunately, I think you're probably right. <sighs> Sorry guys, but I gotta run. You're free to walk around today if you like. Yay! 
Thank you, doctor. I hope everything is okay. Oh, I'm sure I'll be fine. You know how it is. Just another day at the hospital. Okay, Kenji. I'll meet you at Kisubura's room next. Got it. I guess Kisubura is the next person we're gonna help, huh? What do you think? Should we go see what's going on with Kisubura? Yeah, let's go, Mom. Alright, we're gonna finish out here today. Thank you for watching. This has been Summerless Fanny Rockowin. And uh, next time, we're gonna see what's up with Kisubura. Remember to be kind to yourself and to others. Goodbye!